Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son. Family Johan. curse? On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Is this a dark room? Yeah. Ben gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. This must be the twin, Calvin. Sam and Calvin. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. I told him going around was impossible. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh my god, bro. Ain't no way we do three sixties. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. Wow. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. Ain't no way she starred in a, 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 a sitcom about being friends with Bigfoot. Of all the stories guest star, oh, she was a guest Barbara star in a stuff. comic? I'm surprised Edie saved this one. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <laughs> now at 16, she was all washed up. Her biggest fan, as current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when Surprise! Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I was and then she got eaten. She had a taste for stardom. Taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Okay, the basement key is supposed to be in the music box, I guess. Now, they don't let us use doors for whatever reason, so I got to crawl my ass right back up in here. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Maybe I should go check out that music box down by the basement. Yeah, you said that already. I'm on the way. I just don't know where the basement's at. Damn, she getting pushy. I don't even know the layout of the house. Like, where's the basement? Right here, right? Yep, yep, yep. And you just gotta keep cranking until the key pops out. Oh, wrong way. All right, open her up. In the basement, hopefully. They chill out on some of the jump scares because low key last episode definitely had some horror elements going on. Now the shit got me all nervous. Mom said the basement was off limits unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Yo, where's the light at? Hold on. All right, just had to put the brightness up a tad. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh, y'all was hiding everything. Every room got a secret passageway. Now I'm going back here through the back of the refrigerator. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. 
She said after Barbara died, he got okay, as far Walter. away as he could. He got as far away as he could, okay. So that was um Barbara's brother, I believe. Stories? Walter is. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Okay, so Walter had a long life, it looks like. Been a lot of tragedy in this family. What is this? This ain't even real. We're in the basement. So this is Walter's room. He went down into the basement, dug a tunnel and made his room all the way in this bunker. I'm sure it's like some sort of underground bunker that he like tunneled his way into. Let's see what Walter got to say. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. 30 years in the bunker. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the week. Opening our peas up. After a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected That wasn't peas. Dead. What was that? Oh, peaches. But if you wait long enough, you can So that was what, eight years later? He just keeps doing the same thing every day. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. There's a monster? I already know we've seen a monster on the first episode. Actually, we've seen monsters on every episode day, so far. Everything just. 2005 he's been down here for whatever that thing was almost 40 years was gone. maybe you got tired of waiting or maybe i just got oh wait he said he was down there afraid. for 30 total right it's been a week now we ran out of peaches in 30 years i'm done waiting I have to leave while well, I still can. I guess there's nothing else we can do in here. Yeah, Walter, bro, you gotta see the surface. No wonder you got that like fake scenery out the little window. At least pretend like he's seeing some sunlight. I know it's out there somewhere. It's a nice ass bunker though. I gotta give it to you, Whatever but I would not want to live down there for 30 years. And Molly. And Calvin. <sighs> a lot of finches didn't make it. Maybe this That's is for sure. all a mistake. You busting through the wall? But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me facts though i feel like that would drive me crazy doing the same thing over and over whatever's out there i want you to know i'm ready for it i'm going to appreciate all of it especially the food oh hey i don't mind if i only have a year left only a year left or a month yeah or live your life day. walter i'd be happy Can already imagine yeah, see sun. some sunlight go out to the club get some booty what was that did, did we get bombed two thousand five he he straight up left the bunker I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me
Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Uh, uncle under the house? Like, did she for real not know about Walter? I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. I'm trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. I'm guessing she's talking about her brother who went missing years ago. To everyone else. As the possible second remaining but Finch. Now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I mean, manifestation is kind of how that works, right? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Yo, what's out there? Are we doing this? No, nah, we're not doing this. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house Ugh, that's rough i guess one that it's believes that they're cursed to admit this but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one three of the gerbils were mine and two had been my fault that's the pet cemetery. Edith out here killing gerbils. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Walter, Barbara. Man, it's like the circle of the OGs right here. 1950s, 1910s, 1940s, 1930s. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Your girl Odin's crazy ass tried to sail the house across the ocean. She could see it. Gotta give him a monument. The water at low tide. Take a little peekaboo. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. So is that where the house crashed into the ocean? Damn, maybe that's their old house. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. He's on top of the house in the monument while it's while it's sinking. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Wasn't enough to say her brothers. That's the dad and the brothers, I'm guessing. Gus and Gregory. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. 
Sanjay and Lewis. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Man, you are going through a whole journey through this. Just piecing it all together. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was gonna be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. 22 weeks pregnant? Why they just try to throw the pressure on? And her voice got deeper. Did she just age? Out of nowhere? I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. <sighs> I can imagine. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. All right, as long as you ain't got no Confederate flags over here, bruh. Instead keep it of hiding pushing. from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Ugh, that's tight. Ugh, he's swiping the fuck out of that squirrel. Sam, 1950 to 1983. But he was only 33. Why my dude look like he's... Well, I guess he's blonde. I guess... I thought he had white hair for a second. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's right, because last episode we saw the uh, the dark room that Sam had. It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Don. Then we can take off. Boom. Got a shot of her. Oh, wait. Should we zoom in? Ah, there we go. Perfect. Boom. That's a keeper. Weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures. Keeping her head in a book. Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. So that's uh, Edith's mom. Hmm. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hey! <laughs> oh, he got the coffee <laughs> boo-boos. We've all been there. We've all been there. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. Where's she at? Okay, so Don is Edith's Dad mom. Don, I'm being serious. No, Who's Dad. Sam's daughter. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? To tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? More interesting to photograph? Uh last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. I don't I know what y'all want me to. That trail was. We'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Ah, got me one. Right, that's real. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Good eyes, Don. So that's what y'all wanted the whole time. Take the shot. Let me get a picture of it. I gotta take the shot. So I think I switched back to Sam. Dad, okay, she's about to shoot this way. Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Where's the bug? Where's 
Bro, I don't see the buck. I'm over here, Dad. Oh, take a picture of her. Yeah. Let me get behind. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. When I Great took the shot, picture. Don. Oh! Caught him in 4K. I knew she'd be sad about it. Oh my god. S you, Sam, Dawn. you're the worst. Always remember that, okay? Oh, I get to move. Let me get up here for a pick. Get up here for the quick Dad, flick. It, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about it. Oh. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Wow. Woo! What? Yo, this game is wild. This game is wild. This game is wild, y'all. Oh, they will kill anybody off at any given second. And it's crazy because I'm supposed to expect it because it's happened in every story so far. But yo, I was so caught up in in the deer and the taking the pictures that I wasn't I wasn't on guard at all. So GG's y'all. Oh, my man Sam was taken out by a deer that was already shot by his daughter. He thought it was dead. He walks up to it. Damn thing knocks him off the edge of the cliff. Yo, Giant Sparrow, y'all are crazy. I cannot wait to see more of this game. It looks like we'll probably have like maybe two more episodes left or so. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. Um, remember to like the video to help push me into the algorithm and subscribe to the channel and make sure notifications are turned on. Yo, RIP Sam, RIP Walter. And RIP to all the finches we lost along the way. Be on the lookout for more real soon. And as always, y'all, be safe, spread love, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.